Okay, so I'm going to give you a tutorial guide on how to set up and start to create your interactive media product. Okay, so start by coming over to uh, PowerPoint, and before you do anything else, make sure that you save it uh, to an appropriate location. I'm going to save it in my OneDrive and give it a suitable name. Uh, let's call it Mr. Smith IMP. Okay, I'll let you that way. Anything that we do is now going to save. Okay, now before we get started, I want to find some icons, and I could create some myself. Uh, or equally, uh, there are some built into PowerPoint here, which you can use. But I'm going to come over to a website called The Noun Project. Okay, uh, and there's lots of things you can, you can search for up here. Um, if you want to search for, in your case, exercise or diet, perhaps there's, there's a whole range for you to choose from. Okay, which you, which you may find suitable. Okay, don't spend too long uh, finding some suitable icons. Okay. Once you've done that, uh, you I think it will give you the option to log in with your uh, with either Google account or a Microsoft account. But they can download them as either a PNG or an SVG. I'd recommend doing it as a PNG. Okay, so save them save them to a folder called Icons, and then you can come back to your PowerPoint. First thing we want to do is come up here to the top where it says View, and then Slide Master. Okay, now what Slide Master does is it sets essentially a template. For every single slide, okay. Now, by default, it'll be on the, on the what we call one of the child pages here. We want to come up to the parent one, which is at the top up here, okay. So this, this is what we call like the top level view or, or the parent view, okay. And actually, I don't want any of this particularly because I'm going to build build my own uh, custom one in a second. So I'm going to select everything and then just press delete uh, to start afresh, okay. Now from here, I can insert all of my Icons. Okay, let me just find where I've uh, put them. Here, so I've got some icon icons here. I can press shift. I can press shift uh, to select all of them. And actually, if I just resize them all at the same time, it will automatically resize them here. Or even better, if I've described or, or defined the dimensions in my visualization diagrams. I can, I can also set the dimensions here, okay? So let's say one and three centimeters square, okay? And just arrange them as you wish, okay? PowerPoint is quite helpful in that it gives you guidelines like that so you can see when assets are centered, okay? Now, if you're using, using icons from the Noun Project, uh, it will have a little watermark on the bottom, so you will need to crop them out, okay? So let's just do that quickly. I'm just, I'm just going to be very crude doing it in this case. Let's crop these ones out here. There we go. Okay. So now we've got our icons. Uh, if you wish to perhaps add, add some labels to it as well, labels to it as well, you can do so here, again, in accordance with your design principles and your viz diagrams, okay? I'll just, I'll just do a couple now, just so you can see them. Let's call, let's call that, uh, let's, keep, let's make up some names. We'll make sure they're all, they're all aligned. Well, one lab, and let's call this one lesson notes. Okay. Uh, also, want to perhaps add a background to it. So, so same again. Any asset or image which you've found. In this case, I'm going, going to use the school one. Just expanded fit. And actually, you can also up here use a lot of the built-in editing tools just to. Customize it if you want to. You don't have to take them into, for, into Photoshop, uh, but you can. Remember, if you do so, make sure that you evidence your changes as well. Okay. Now, because I've added a picture, all my icons have disappeared, so I need to send this layer to the back. Okay. So to that, right click and quite simply send to back. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to now uh, 
revert, revert to normal view, normal view. Right click, click new slide. And actually, just I'm just going to give each page a quick, just a brief title, just for now, just as a placeholder, so I know what each one is. Okay, so let's call let's call this one lab. Let's call this one home. This could be lesson notes. Uh, this one is teacher. I put, that one, I put that one in the wrong place. So what Photoshop, um, Photoshop, what PowerPoint does is it, is it recognizes that this is the title for that page and resources. Okay. So don't worry about its placement for now. We, we're just using the titles here as a placeholder for now. Okay. So what we can do is now link up our pages. So come back to view and slide master. Okay. And what I'm going to do on our, again, on our top level page here, I'm going to click on both the icon and press control and hold control and click on the text box here. I'm now going to press insert. Uh, no, I can't do it both. Click on one, insert uh, action. And then here I want it to hyperlink to, I can click on slide. And because we've given it a title, we can now see which slide we want to link it to. So I want to link this icon here to the lab page. And again, if you want to maybe have some actions when it's hovered over rather than actually clicked, we can do so here as well. But for now, I just, I just wanted to go to the lab page when the hyperlink is clicked and press OK. OK. Let's come out of Slide Master View. And actually, let's test Let's test it for now. And actually, when we hover over lab, we can see our icon changes to the different type of hand. So that confirms and now it says lab that we've linked our pages together. Okay, so you can do that for all pages. Okay, the final thing to do, okay, I suggest you do this right at the very, very end once you've completed your entire project, is to actually save it as a show. Okay, what that means is when you open your open your project, it opens in full screen. It doesn't. You don't have to go into presenter mode. Okay, so the way you do that is you save it as a PowerPoint show. Okay, which is a PPSX format. Okay. And just remember, once again, make sure that you screenshot what you're doing here and add that to your coursework as well. Okay. From this stage, it's just a matter of, from here, inserting your different assets, whether that's a sound recording or any other content that you need to.